So last night it was Chelsea 1, Brighton 0. We won a game. Carabao Cup. Few changes. We had Sanchez in goal. Kukureya at right back. Chilwell at left back. In the middle we had um, Dezazi and Colwell. In front of them we had Upo Gudo. I can never say his name. Next to Caicedo. In front of them we had Ian Matson. Cole Palmer and Mudrick and up front we had Nicholas Jackson. Nicholas Jackson got his goal that I was pleased about. You could see how much it meant to him and the fans in the ground and how much it meant to us lot out there that couldn't, uh, can't get to the bridge at the moment. So yeah, it wasn't the best game in the world, but I'll tell you what it was. Every single bloke out there, even those that didn't score great, Gave 100%. Put a proper, proper shift in. I've given Kukureya a lot of stick, but last night he was played out of position, and do you know what? He ran his socks off. He didn't have the greatest game ever, because he did make a couple of mistakes where he gave it away or whatever, but as soon as he gave it away, he got back. I thought to myself, that, that shows how much he cares about his own performance, and who knows? They're saying he had loads of problems last year. I sort of dismissed it after a while because how long can personal problems affect you for? I suppose if you've lost someone, it can affect you for years, can't it? So what do I know? They're only human beings after all. But last night, he put a proper shift in. We also scored another goal. That was Nico Jackson. They've looked at it now and it wasn't offside. If there had been VAR, it would have been allowed. But no VAR in the Carabao Cup seems balmy to me and if they if they've got the cheek to use it in a final or something that'll seem even balmier because if you're in a cup competition it should be regulation all the way through if not it means that a team can get knocked out because there's no VAR decision in the third or fourth or fifth round and then they can someone can win it on a VAR decision in the final absolutely balmy to me but We'll see, how, we'll see how it goes. Nicholas Jackson last night. They all put a proper shift in. One person I must mention, though, is Cole Palmer. I thought he was absolutely superb last night. Proper number 10. Played in a proper... In a, in a, in a number 10's role. And um, it just goes to show you that little bit of class, that little bit of making time for himself... Not rushing. The actual goal, Matson, um, Cole Palmer, lovely little piece of play through someone's legs, I think it was, to Jackson, who finished nice. But last night, Cole Palmer, he's my he's my man of the match actually. He's getting a nine from me. Just defensive wise as well. He lost the ball. He gets back. Sanchez last night. I'm gonna I'm gonna just score him. Sanchez last night is only gonna get a five. Could have cost us some really weak play where it came to um, distribution. One straight to their player, another one giving our player an impossible ball. I know they, I know they're instructed to play out like that, but you've got to be better than that. I gave them loads of praise. Well, I didn't do an Aston Villa. I didn't do an Aston Villa um, review. I gave him loads of praise last couple of games, which he deserved. But last night he was a very lucky boy. He could have cost us that game. Did make a did make a really good save, and um, well, he made a couple of good saves actually. But one of them was because he cocked up in the first place. Sanchez, I'm going to give him a five. Kukurea last night gets a seven point five from me. Not the greatest performance in the world, but you know what? The effort that lad put in. He wasn't going to lose out. When he made a mistake, he got straight back goal side. This is the sort of attitude that Chelsea have been lacking last night as a team we had it Dizarzi gets a 6.5 did all that he could really he, he's a bit rash at times which worries me but pretty good Colwell 6.5 sloppy at times I, I thought but like everyone the first half wasn't the greatest performance second half they improved dramatically which makes a change because we're normally we normally start off like lions and go out like lambs, don't we? But yeah, he uh, he did okay, especially second half. I like I like the fact that 
Might be a bit of JT because when he was clearing the ball last night, he was clearing to a target. Chilwell last night, I give a six. He wasn't his brilliant best. His defending was pretty good most of the time. So not his best, but the effort was there. Maybe not playing for a couple of games as, I don't know, dented his confidence. I don't know, when you play for England at left back and then you see someone else playing at left back who's a centre half, can't exactly do your confidence that much good, can it? You go Chuck Will, he gets a six. He did okay, plenty of effort. I don't know. I think I think particularly in that second half last night, because he was playing with Caicedo, who had a I thought had an excellent game. He um he didn't really stick out to me. But you know, he got a goal side, put a proper shift in. I think the lad's gonna be a real good player. Always tried pushing it forward when he when he could. Yeah, he gets a he gets a six. Caicedo last night gets an eight mainly for his second half performance he was okay in the first half breaking stuff down sensible passing but in the second half I thought he came into his own breaking breaking stuff down like like a makalele or a kante that's that's what we've paid the the big bucks for so well done kai say though a lot more like it ian matson last night gets a six I thought he got bullied out of the game a bit. They're quite a physical side, Brighton. Like the others, tried his hardest. That's all I'm asking. Cole Palmer is going to get a nine. He gets a nine. Little bit of class. Made time for himself. Always looking to go forward. When he lost the ball, he got back defensively. A really good number 10's performance last night. Mudrick gets a seven. I thought it was a decent game. I thought he had a decent game. He was always looking to go forward. Not everything came off for him. A few wayward passes, but you can see that you can see there's a player there. Frightens him to death with his speed. Doesn't always make the right decision. Very raw, but I think a decent coach like Pochettino can uh, eventually get the best out of him. So he gets a seven. Nicholas Jackson. Oh, I'll tell you what, he should get a 10 just for the fact he didn't get booked, shouldn't he? I don't even think he nearly got booked, did he? It's a shame he's suspended for the next game because that must have given his confidence uh, a hell of a boost. Particularly in that first half, a couple of times he went round players and he just ran into the crowd. It was like watching Forrest Gump. But he grew into the game, always a nuisance to him. The lad's got a great attitude, never gives up trying and... Um, Got his goal, and I was really, really chuffed for him. Pochettino last night gets a 7.5. I liked his game management later on when players were obviously getting tired, and he's bringing on, you know, the likes of Enzo and uh, Gallagher. And uh, when Brogy come on, he looked sharp, to be fair. But yeah, his, his game management was good last night. And uh, when I first saw the team, I thought, when I first saw Kukurea at right back, I thought to myself, you know what? We need to get Pochettino not sacked. We need to get him institutionalised. We need to get him nicked under the mental health act. But how wrong could I have been? So well done, Poch. You see him in training all day. You talk to the doctors. I've got none of the benefits of that. So like everyone else on Facebook, on Twitter and on social media, I know nothing really. I've got an opinion based on overall ability of players. I don't know what their mental attitude's like. I don't know if their dog's just died. I, You know, you've got all that insight. All I can say is much better performance, effort, and, and wanting to get the ball back when you lose it. We all talk about these great Chelsea teams. That was their, they're full of skillful players, full of experienced players, but it was the effort. And that bit of effort was there last night. And I'll tell you what, we got a chance at Fulham away. We really, really have if we show the same sort of desire and the same sort of passion as we showed last night. It's short and sweet. Sorry I didn't do a, a villa. I was, hey, I was fed up with saying the same stuff. We do need a finisher. We make chances and they're just wasted. And uh, also I was, I was busy. Family... Uh, Matter. So apologies for no uh, filler. And I shall speak to you after the Fulham game. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know what some of you guys and girls think um, 
think about that game. If you're on Facebook, come and join Chelsea Chat. Um, we do have a laugh there. We have a bit of banter. I unfortunately had to kick someone out of the group yesterday that I thought I was... Because I posted something about us not scoring goals. I was laughing at us. I was laughing at me. I was laughing at ourselves. And we can't do that. Then we might as well pack up. Football is a passion. And like everything else in life, you tend to get through the bad times by being able to have a laugh. That's my motto anyway. Okay, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, throw the video a like. It helps me apparently and I shall speak to you soon. Up to Chelsea.